Hi guys, welcome to the video. This is my solo themed nightfall on this week's featured master, which is the arms dealer. I'm doing it on the Titan. We're doing Sunbreaker so you can see all the fragments, aspects and uh, abilities that I'm using. The weapons I'm going to be using are, is the Scholar, Premonition and 1K Voices. Now, the theme of this nightfall is the Forgotten because A, I haven't used any of these weapons in a, in a G, uh, solo nightfall before and B, I feel like nobody uses these weapons anymore. So, I forgotten weapons. So, I'm using, uh, you can see all the, the mods that I'm using on my armor. You can pause and have a look at those. I'm using the Laura Lace Splendor. Uh, that is the exotic I'm using, which basically, uh, when I've got my class ability, when I take heavy damage, it will give me a boost of healing. Uh, and as long as I've got a class ability, as long as I've got a, a barricade, basically, then I will get uh, that healing every time I go red ball. So uh, the Nightfall, the modifiers are slightly different to the, the when I've done my main run, and that's because the Nightfall modifiers rotate. So in this modifier, you will in this run, you will not get your class ability or your grenade or your melee. Any of your abilities won't recharge normally unless you're hitting enemies from range, which kind of suits us because we will be so the reason i i've never used 1k voices before is basically because there was a bit of a thing a while ago that when when anarchy was out that people didn't really enjoy me using anarchy in nightfall videos because they felt like my nightfall videos showcased weapons that don't really they don't really get used that kind of everybody's got so i decided to do that here uh, premonition you get from, let's talk about the weapons, premonition you get from Pet Heresy, that is uh, from the, the Moon Dungeon, 1k you get from Last Wish Raid, it's the exotic from the Last Wish Raid, and the Scholar is quite an old uh, Trails, of, Trails of Osiris uh, uh, weapon, it's the Scout Rifle that you used to get from Trails. So all of these weapons have been in the game for quite some time. And I think you'll see here, they perform very well. I was very surprised at how well this performed, the Scholar. It's a 150 Scout Rifle. Uh, I, the mods, perks aren't really important because none of them, obviously the Exotic has fixed perks, but none of the perks that I'm using are top tier or, you know, I didn't, I don't have that many of them that I could, that I could pick to be fair. Uh... But uh, what got me out of danger a few times here is obviously the Titan's Throne Knife. With Solar Burn being on, 25%, outgoing, 50% incoming. I didn't really want to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with the ads too many times. But as you can see, I have Melee Willmaker on and I have Bountiful Wells, which means every time I get a Melee kill, uh, I will drop some some uh, Elemental Wells. So that that kind of helps compensate a little bit for... Uh, not getting your abilities back so quick. I also have... No, can't really remember the name of the perk, but it's the one where you pick up a well, you get times two charge for light. I think I've got that on. Not sure. Uh, uh, I think I have. I, I'm just... I'm, I'm saying it because I'm looking and I'm like, mm, I don't have times two charge for light, but it's because I've fired my weapon. Because I also have high energy fire, which will kind of help at the boss, although... I don't really think it did. I don't think it really... If I'd have been using Galahorn in this run, the outcome of the boss would have been different. And I say that because... Well, it's a bit of a kamikaze ending, if I'm being honest. So, 1k... It's it's, it's still pretty good. I, I don't... I'm not too sure whether it's... Uh, that, you know... The, the Galahorn would have done better. Even Sleeper Simulant probably would have done better, but... Again, those weapons haven't really went away. 1K, some people will say, well, I've seen a lot of people use 1K in raids. But this isn't a raid video, this is a nightfall video. And not many people use it for stuff like this. So, let's talk about the run a little bit. Uh, since that's why we're here, why not? Let's talk about it for a minute. Uh, basically, in this area, your, your main things are going to be you're going to have a couple of uh, those yellow bar uh, legionaries pushing you. Uh, you're going to have an unstoppable that comes in with the second wave. And that's really about uh, watch out for the snipers and watch out for the ads pushing you. Uh, and, and and you should be able to do everything from from a decent range. Now, as you can see there, once you, once you clear it, once you clear this area, 
Uh, you get when you get your unstoppable out. You shouldn't have a lot left. Watch out for the snipers, as I've said. Then this uh, unstable core becomes available, which means you can go to the next area. If you pick it up and then drop it, you will only get the champion. You won't get the dogs. You won't get the snipers. You won't get the ships. So I wanted to show that off for anybody who's wanting to come in here and solo it. Uh, this is like a really simple way to do it. Uh, so what I do then is once I take the champion, I come over, and as you'll see here, the, the 1K voices does a lot of damage against the <laughs> against the threshers. When you come back down here after you took the barrier champion, you'll have a, you'll have these three dogs, three or four dogs here. You'll have two snipers up top, and you'll have the second champion, which we are going to dispatch of very easily. Now I have the mod on that. Uh, from the artifact that basically makes the when you when you stun a champion it explodes but it doesn't always work and I, I haven't worked out why so we don't have any heavy which isn't good but hopefully we'll get some before the boss probably won't get any before the next champion I did find and I've said this in videos before I find that the the when you're using a fusion rifle or a heavy uh, Linear fusion rifle more than anything else, but uh, th this does constitute as a, this, they're saying that this is a fusion rifle because it's a heavy and exotic fusion rifle. It does seem like it falls more ammo-wise into the realm of a linear fusion rifle because I didn't see too much heavy dropping. You can see there now I've got chargeable like times two, uh, elemental charge I think that's called. Takes me a while to remember these things. I, sometimes I just completely forget the names of things you uh, i remember the funniest one was i couldn't remember the name of the hand cannon that you earned from crucible and it turned out it was the not forgotten yep i know but it, it happens man so i've got and you can see there it's gone because i have high energy fire on basically it gives me a 20 percent damage boost when i start firing my weapon so at the boss it's going to be really good for when we're going up the lift. Because I am going to do the chain thing. Uh, or do I do the chain? I don't know if I do the chain thing on this run. Maybe I don't. Uh, because of the... Yeah, no, I don't think I do because of the range. Uh, thousand, 1K Voices doesn't have a great range. But, as you can see, still, we, uh, we don't have any heavy. If I remember correctly, I don't get any heavy on this run till after I take the first tank out. So it is just... It is what it is, but you'll see it doesn't doesn't really slow us down too much. So what I'm going to do here is just make sure I'm reloaded. We need this barrier for... Uh, oh, I know what happens. Yeah, 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 yeah. What happens here is we're going to take this barrier, and then I'm going to take the sniper, that guy next to him, and he drops me heavy. I've got to go down and get it. That's right, I remember. So you see there the explosion took quite a bit of uh, champion's health. Now, always, once you break, unless you haven't used a lot of ammo, uh, always reload your anti-barrier. So we've got 15. That sh we should be okay for taking. So I'll reload here. And the sniper is kind of got a zero in. Took the champion out. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to I'm going to wait for for the champion to. You see, I'm stunning him. I think I think I think my I think my scout rifle's got high cal, but I, I don't quote me. I. I can't remember what perks the scout rifle had. Uh, did a vorpal? I think it vorpal. And there we've got we've got heavy that drops. So I'm gonna go down because I would like heavy for the first thing, the first uh, tank. And there you go. That gives us six. Just if you have to do that, make sure you use the boxes left and right. It's cover when you're coming back up. You know, the last thing you want is to get shot from one of the the ads from behind as you're trying to get back into position. So let's see how the 1K performs against tanks. Now, I think the first shot is kind of off kilter a little bit, and then the second shot, much better. But the third shot actually hit a lot of the ads. Like, the ads were in front of me. So what I decided to do was just clear some ads a little bit. Now, the thing about the tank is, the tank, until he sees you again will shoot at the last place he saw you. So, if you really want to, like, do what I'm doing now, show the tank you're jumping up to the right, and he'll, as you can see, he'll keep shooting up high till he sees you again. So, 
like I say, I've got a heavy brick. You don't necessarily have to hide from the tank. You just have to keep moving because he won't keep adjusting his aim. So we'll go and grab this brick of heavy. It gives us four at least. So now we've got a whole mixture of ads. We've got uh, an unstoppable and two barriers. What we're going to try and do is take, take these ads. Take all of these ads here and the unstoppable. Now I think, if I remember rightly, a lot of these ads went and hid. And I thought I cleared them all. So when I went after the barrier, they all come out to play. Sometimes the explosion, it never done anything to any of the other ads. Sometimes the explosion is really good. I went with... Uh, I was trying to think of a void pulse rifle that I might not have used. And I, the premonition was the only one I could think of because... Well, it's not the best. It's not the worst pulse rifle I've ever used. It's just a bit bouncy. So you can see there, that's what I'm looking for when I do stop an unstoppable. I'm looking for that explosion from the mod. On, on your class item. I'm looking for that to uh, to clear some ads. And as I say, the scout rifle, I was really surprised. Whenever I do these themed runs, there's always a weapon that I'm like, wow, I would never have thought to have used this, but it's actually pretty good. So the barrier's, barrier's going to fire at us, but what's going to happen is, yep, there is about, there's still about four or five ads left. So what I've done there is I jumped up to fire my my hammer because it should give me my hammer should give me some class ability back uh, upon hitting that and um, well it, it didn't actually seem to do that much so what I'm going to do is just put a little bit on them here I don't have my I don't have my uh, I just you see there, every time I hit hit the, I've, I've got radiance, but every time I hit an enemy with my 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 charged melee, because of one of the fragments I've got on, I'll get class ability back. So you can see now I've got my class ability right back. So what we're gonna do, I'm break a shield here. The explosion hit hit the guy next to him. So what I'm gonna do is just reload and wait for him to put shield back up, and then we manage to get the break. We use the scout rifle, hopefully finish him off, and there we go. That's one champion. The problem with <clears throat> the problem when you're doing it like this is champions when when they're right next to each other, they do have a tendency to uh, to jump on top of each other, to, and and it makes it really difficult to get the next break. So what we're gonna do here? I never got that explosion, so I am gonna jump up and just use my thorn hammer. Now I am on a controller. Most people know that about me, that I play controller, because, well, I don't send a lot of emails, so I don't see the need to have mouse and keyboard. It's a joke. Don't come at me, you guys that use M and K. It's all good. I know it's... I'm just jealous I can't use M and K, okay? It's cool. So, But I've remapped my buttons so that my charged melee and my uncharged melee and all my melees are all now... Uh, the, the binding is to the same button. So if I'm really up close with my charge melee, and I have my charge melee, that will be the... Me You've seen it on the on, on, on the Hunter runs. That will be the melee I use. So this time what i done, because we were using 1K, what i done this time was uh, I, I activated the lower, co the lower uh, console first because I felt like... Uh, I felt as if the 1k voices would really stop the, the 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 tank. It would take the tank out real quick. And now we've got, I said this in my last video about sharing the explosions. They weren't close enough that the explosions really did get shared a lot. But uh, they were still close enough that they were doing some damage to each other. And that, that's two of them down. I haven't had to move away too far. So we'll get the stop on here and then just a couple of... For some reason, I never picked up my thrown hammer straight away. But we've got it now. And that's that's the three unstoppables finished. Now we're going to have these... <clears throat> any phalanxes that were left that we never managed to take out will be there. We'll have this uh, sanctioned blast unsanctioned. For some reason, he's lost his sanction. This unsanctioned blaster 
And once we take out the unsanctioned blaster, then we're going to get the dogs. Now, normally, normally, the dogs will normally drop me heavy, but I don't believe they do here. As I've said before, I remember the first time I really noticed it was in uh, the Grasp of Avarice Dungeon. I just use the hammer here, and no point in messing about with ammo or whatever. So, that's all the dogs down, as you can see, never got any... Never got any heavy. Now, when you're normal, you know, if you're just doing a normal run of any Nightfall, it is worthwhile to have your energy or your primary be the exotic. Because exotic primaries, as long as they're using primary ammo, Outbreak Perfected, something like that, they do drop heavy at a faster rate. So, you know, but because we're reintroducing the themed runs, this will be a thing every week now. I'll do a themed run of all the Nightfalls. Because... I'm unsure when I'm going to do all the GMs this season. Because I'm kind of getting bored of doing GMs. Uh, you know, this will be the fifth time this season will be the fifth time I've gilded my, my Conqueror. I'm not too sure what the point of gilding it five times is, but that will be the fifth guild. I do want the Pulse Rifle. And I do, uh, uh, as an Adept, and I do want the Hand Cannon, but... Every, all the other weapons that I drop and I have really good versions of, so we'll see. I'm, I'm just not interested in doing all, all of them as I never really am. It's not really something that I feel inclined to do. I'm not like motivated to do GMs because I play the game quite a bit. I've got other things I can be doing, builds and far, you know, just other stuff I can be doing. Uh, solo GM sometimes. Especially if you've not done it, like, I haven't done the Corrupted and I haven't done Proven Grounds as solo, so I'm going to have to learn them. I can take a bit of time. Uh, but we'll see. I'm, I'm, I'm not saying I'm not going to do it, I'm just like, I'm not sure. Uh, but the themed Nightfall, so I'll still be doing a Master each week and I'll be doing a themed each week. And then maybe if I don't do the Corrupted and I don't do, we'll see, I'm not sure I'm not going to do them. But if I don't, I'll definitely do the other four because I, when I was motivated to learn GMs, uh, I learned those four. So I've soloed all four of those. I know exactly how to do them. And as I've said in previous videos, I am streaming a challenge at the moment. Uh, I've done this run live on stream. I switched to my main account because I managed to solo the, the account that I'm doing the challenge for. I've been doing it for now five days. It was 13.50 on all characters when I started. So within five days, I've got it to 15.75. And I managed to solo flawless the, the the duality dungeon last night. Not that I didn't think I'd be able to do it, because it's it's quite an easy dungeon. It's very straightforward with, with what we have available this season. If you want to get the solo flawless, you need to get, get your backside in gear and get it done this season, because uh, Classy Restoration really helps after this season i mean it will still be possible obviously but it'll, it'll there'll be different strats for it. so i'll be doing the gms live on the stream i reckon so if you do like watching streams or you just want to maybe support me and and my journey to maybe becoming a full-time streamer or a more consistent streamer that's probably the best way to say it then uh nip over to the channel it is a suggested channel on this channel. It's live on Destiny, and give it a give it a follow, a subscribe, whatever, and that would be great. Anyway, this area kind of speaks for itself. When you first come in, you're going to have the boss is going to be in front of you. You're going to shoot him to make him run, and then if I'm if, if there's no other reason for me not to do it, then I'll normally jump up to the left hand side and take out the smaller ads that are up there but you'll have an, uns an, un an unstoppable that will push you. Once you take out the unstoppable and you shoot the three the two turrets that are up on the platform I'm on now the boss will jump to the platform we're underneath now and then you'll get two barriers. The two barriers should be here anyway but you'll get barriers there'll be three turrets up here once you take the turrets, the turrets are the link to getting the boss to go so once you take the turrets he'll go to his next area and after this the platform we're on now, his next area is up top. Now, we could jump up the chain. Uh, I'm shooting this, you'd have seen it on my normal one. You can actually, sh if you've got explosive rounds, you can shoot the, you can shoot ammo bri bricks and make them move. I was trying to shoot this onto this platform. 
what we're going to go for now, what you can do, sorry, is you can jump up the chain before you activate this console to bring down that drop pod. What that, what, what, if you do that, what will happen is once you clear this area and jump on the left, the boss will be waiting for you, standing up top. He'll still try and snipe you and stuff, but he'll be up top. Uh, and you can you can fire rockets at him, but because one K doesn't have that that damage out that uh, range, there's no point in me doing that. So what I'm going to do, I've got as you can see, I've got chargeable light, which means I've got high energy fire. What we're going to do is we're going to try and kill the boss before he gets to his first platform. Now, it would have been a ton easier, but I think it was the next shot I miss. If that would have hit, this would have been a ton easier. So now, you can see I'm, oh, the ads are coming out, there's, there's flame turrets. I'm going to try and get these three shots off on the boss. And now I'm going to pop my super and go after him with the super. Now, getting in front of him like this... If you get in front of him like this, what, what's happening is he will try and stomp me. It's kind of... A lot of ads have got this this thing. See, I'll throw a grenade, get out of the way, get in a hammer throw. Now I'm just going to stand in front of him and just throw hammers. And what happens is we both die at the same time. <laughs> so it, it was a bit of a kamikaze ending. I didn't want him to go up to his first platform. And like I say, that wouldn't have happened if the first... 1k voices, sh the, the third, third or fourth, if that shot would have hit, my super would have killed him. So just make sure you're hitting your shots with that. And that's the run, guys. Uh, bit, bit of a bit of an end in there. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. I, I always enjoy getting these videos out. And like I said, if you do want to support the stream channel, just nip out. It's live on Destiny. As I say, it is a suggested channel on my channel. So just look at the suggested channels at the bottom. You can access it through there. Thanks a lot for watching, guys. Uh, stay safe. Have have a lot. I hope you have a lot of uh, luck with your runs and you get the stuff you're wanting. Uh, thanks a lot for watching again, as I've said. And I will see you guys in the next video.